Hi friends, welcome to our garden. Uh, behind me you can see a river. We are, so we are blessed with a river flowing behind this Sawaleta River. And we are in a very nice nook because there is a park behind us with all the wildlife that would like to eat mangoes. Sometimes they eat all the weeds and grass around here. So in a lot of wildlife, raccoons, squirrels, birds, and so we are growing a lot of mango trees, probably more than 50 varieties of mangoes here so that we will have enough and we don't have to kill any wildlife here because we like to have natives, we like to have variety, we do, we do not want to uh, break the chain of uh, flow of nature. So having say, <laughs> said that, uh, this is year two of our mango tastings and uh, you know we've been doing this although this year we wanted oh it's the same mangoes, it's the same taste, why are we going to do this? But then came people who wanted to meet us because we got a bit popular <laughs> in YouTube and also it, it felt like last year we were doing mango tastings by ourselves so we thought that maybe we will have friends coming over so we did a lot of mango tasting with friends um, and it kind of uh, helped us meet many good people we found many people who are lovers of mangoes passionate people who like to grow different mangoes and taste different mango varieties we actually wanted to meet some people mango lovers who would be interested in meditation as well because you know our main core of this garden is uh, not mangoes or tropical fruit trees it's uh, meditation it's 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 a place it's a sacred place where you can actually um, come to relax your mind because you know people are always stressed outside because of work because of lifestyle because of the way they live so here we teach people how to decrease the amount of thoughts per minute so you know that's the most scientific way I can say uh, this is not a religious place we don't talk about God we don't talk about prayer we talk about how to get more pure how to purify your body how to purify your soil how to increase the health of your soil how to increase the health of your body and how to make your mind more calm more clear in that clarity of the mind when your thoughts are not there when you are not bothered by the past not anxious about the future when you are in the present moment with a very clear mind what if you experience god in that moment that's up to you but we don't talk about god <laughs> because this is same like experience you know we can talk about mangoes all day but unless you eat mango you do not experience a mango so today's mangoes are probably the one of the best tasting mangoes for many people you know if you ask what's your top five one of these three mangoes will be in their top five for sure so that's why i chose them and kind of they are from the same lineage we like to do this family tree uh, <laughs> mangoes because you know when it comes from the source it's one one taste and when it starts to gather other varieties it starts to gather more experience so you know it's same like in life <laughs> orange sorbet and lemon jest are children of uh, same parent uh, lemon meringue so I wanted to do these three I know there is a lot of um, debate or different people like differently so some for some people they say they like orange sorbet some people like lemon zest more um, I know some people like lemon meringue but probably for them these two are better than lemon meringue so I wanted to do a taste and I have orange sorbet in uh, two different ripeness stays so this one looks a little bit hard up here very soft here this one looks yellow all around um, this one was a gift from steve at hidden acres he said this is good to go if you keep one more day so you know we kept one more day uh, and these are from uh, bruce our friend in pompano beach they all coming from different places <laughs> we have all the trees but you know yes if you ask about production i think none three of them have been productive last two years they haven't even uh, flowered so probably these are varieties which take some time to start flowering uh, not so much about orange sorbet because people say that theirs is productive even when it's small but for us it hasn't and probably it has to do something about non-irrigating the mangoes or something about non-fertilizing the mangoes you know if you put gibberellic acid or if you pump with potassium probably they will flower and fruit even when they're not supposed to 
uh, yet so I don't know uh, it's just I just wanted to put it put it out there because for us at least they haven't produced yet um, anyway so um, I think uh, we'll start with the parent first and then go with the children the color becomes orange actually this color yeah, the tree the fruits are still hanging onto the tree when they are this color so they don't drop so it really looks beautiful when you see a big grown lemon meringue tree with all the orange like light bulbs orange bulbs light bulbs hanging they look beautiful inside is not that orange although outside looks very orange it's typical for the inside to become to be a bit yellow is it's normal it's very sweet and lemony a bit of chalkiness close to the skin and i have found that in many different lemon meringues i have tasted whether it's ripe or a bit less ripe they all have this chalkiness closer to the skin But if you just peel the skin off and just take the you don't get that so if you're bothered by the chalkiness try to peel it off and then i like to eat everything so very chalky close to the skin but if you peel it off you don't taste that chalkiness at all so taste wise it is uh, lemony you know it's the name is lemon meringue but i have never tasted lemon meringue in my life the pie but it, it's sweet and lemony and um it has it has the mango flavor somewhere hidden but many people say that it tastes like candy lemon candy rather than mango texture is very nice it's see it i could even cut it um so it's it runs very smooth no fiber texture is very very good because you can even peel it off like this and you can't do that for many mangoes because you know it's juicy and drippy for us it looks like a bit chewy it's not so um, drippy juicy you know it, it won't mess your hands when you eat so I won't cut this because I think this is a good representation of um, lemon meringue mango it's it's um, it's sweet and um, candy like flavor with lemon candy like flavor very nice next is the orange sharbet and I'll take the riper one first nothing special aroma inside is a little different compared to um, it has more orange in it it does have the yellowness but more orange around the seed whereas it's pale yellow in lemon meringue a bit more complex a bit more complex something added to it some like a a zing taste to it like you feel like your tongue is kind of feeling a zinginess like a, a kind of a tingling uh, sensation in the tongue but it has this orange creamsicle like taste that people describe certainly it has a very good amount of sweetness texture is a little different compared to lemon meringue this one is a bit juicy this one is a bit more melting in the mouth more sweetness compared less chalkiness so you know all in all it has all the things that lemon meringue was lacking i don't find the chalkiness i it's more it's sweeter it has this zinc component that is tingling in the tongue and also orange what's going on with you manati, huge one. oh wow it's coming inside so we have a huge manati here people ask whether we have crocodiles and i keep on telling no we don't have crocodiles we have manatees here so you can see a big manatee here behind me in the river. Uh, it's a rare sight because even I don't see this manatee so often. It's trying to do something, I don't know. It's
Yeah, the river is kind of shallow, so hopefully the manatee will be able to pass through. You saw the manatee there while we were eating orange sorbet so it's a historical moment for us too so um here we have our new member the mango lover who is trying to be a bit shy <laughs> this orange sorbet is very nice i'm eating close to the skin very thin skin barely any fiber I know what he's doing. He's doing because of Kotik's around. He, he chased him around so that he created a perimeter where he feels safe. Wow, that's it. He'll chase further if Kotik comes closer. Jayets, this is orange sherbet. You like orange sherbet, Jayets? You like? Take it all. Take it. It's yours. So, um, I'm really impressed by orange sorbet because I think it has everything that a good mango has and um, I don't know what I can find more in lemon zest now that would, that would impress me more. It looks a bit yellow here, I hope it is ripe. It orange is here but it's still yellow here, let's see. Probably it wasn't fully ripe. I think this full orange needs to go everywhere. As far as the texture goes, um, I think lemon zest is looks a little bit, uh, it's a bit dense than orange sorbet. Hopefully this side is a bit riper. Kind of it feels like lemon zest is closer in taste to lemon meringue. It kind of feels closer in taste to lemon meringue but with a bit more sweetness and um, the texture is completely different. This one is a bit dense in texture. This one denser than that more chewy but I don't know. If, if we are comparing right now with this seems like it's not fully ripe lemon zest. I would go for orange sorbet instead, orange sorbet instead of lemon zest. Um, I don't know. I hope I can find a little bit different or a little bit like a deeper taste if it's. The sweetness has not come up to my expectations in lemon zest. It could be sweeter than this. Which one would you like out of these three? I think uh, for today. Out of these three, I would say orange sorbet. So on a given day, orange sorbet can be as or even tastier than lemon zest for me. So, you know, some people say, no, it's just lemon zest. It has a different taste. So at least here, it looks like this one is tastier. Last year, we couldn't do this comparison. I had orange sorbet once that kind of was really tasty and lemon zest at other times. So I think if I had... Uh, orange sorbet i probably may not need a lemon zest tree so for those people who are asking like oh i already have a very nicely producing orange sorbet do i need a lemon zest um, um i i don't know i think it it kind of ticks all the boxes i don't think that you know i need to have one although if it was super ripe it was it doesn't look like it it uh, it needed more days outside at least but i gave it two days even um outside after picking but still it seems like it's not yet fully ripe let's see this portion it looks a little or orange mm. yeah 
yeah i think uh, i think it it it, it, will, it will come in the same league as orange sorbet is, at least for me um uh, i think uh giants need don't steal don't steal i'll give you one giants 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 Is it better than orange sorbet? The best. Okay. <laughs> ah, I have a Malika here because many people compare Malika with lemon zest and you know, it does look long and nice like lemon zest. And this one was picked off of tree on 622. So I had to write the date because Malika ripening all those, you know, it was always a tricky thing how to ripen it and when to pick so 622 today is 7 6 so um, 14 days outside and um, yesterday I, I put it inside because I thought it was softening it had a nice smell so let's see how it tastes I see people doing like this I don't know I sometimes want to do it, it looks very fancy Although it's not how I do, do the mangoes. Anyways, uh, so let's see how it looks inside. It looks pretty nice. It looks orange inside. So when you look at this, you think like, okay, it's a ripe mango. You know, there's nothing bad to it. Mm. It is really... It has that orange and uh, sweet orange taste to it that lemon zest has. That's why I think it was a good thing, you know, you, you, we could do the tasting together with lemon zest, orange sorbet, and then bring the malika in, because malika does taste like orange uh, lemon zest if you ripen it correctly. This malika has no funky smell or taste to it although i'm not saying that all our malikas didn't taste funky this one is what i remembered malika to be it has a nice oranges taste to it with good amount of sugar good amount of mango taste to it it's like a complex taste with orange um citrusy orangey um, undertone to it and nice texture certainly reminds of lemon zest mango so out of these four i think kind of we can substitute the lemon zest with malika today then it comes in the same league as orange sorbet if you learn how to ripen malika how when to pick malika i think this should, this is something that could substitute very disease resistant as well so hope you enjoyed our uh, wildlife uh, tour <laughs> in the garden and the uh, tastings of these th three different uh, mangoes Malika is kind of peeling off very nicely like this so it's it's a bonus for people who don't like to um, so absolutely no fiber I can just eat it like this or you can make it into pieces and eat so anyway is good I think it's a very good mango so thank you for watching keep watching <laughs> hopefully hopefully we will not lose the interest of making videos and you know sometimes it feels like we should just stop the youtube because we're so happy here in the garden you just saw the manatees in the video and you know the bunnies and the cats and the birds and it just feels like being lost in this paradise but you know it seems like sometimes you want to share your paradise as well so um Hopefully you like our videos and you keep on watching. Do like and subscribe to us so that we know that you like to watch us and we keep on making videos like this. Thank you.